A new book is out this morning that sheds new light on one of the most beloved but discreet members of the British royal family. CBS News correspondent Elizabeth Palmer is in London for us this morning and she joins us right now. Elizabeth, good morning. Good morning. I'm in front of Buckingham Palace this morning, which is where the Queen Mother lived for many decades. She is the subject of this book, a biography. She was not only, as you mentioned, the most beloved member of the royal family, she was also the most visible. From the darkest days of the Second World War, when she toured bombed out London with her husband, King George VI, to her well-publicized visits to Britain's racetracks, she was ever the gracious matriarch. Elizabeth Bowes Lyon, daughter of a Scottish Earl, loved country life, famously enjoyed a drink or three, and was a faithful letter writer, recording her thoughts on over 70 years of public life. Those letters are now the core of a new biography of the Queen Mum. They're remarkably frank in places, for example, on the abdication of King Edward VIII to marry the American divorcee Wallace Simpson, she wrote, He must have been bemused with love, I suppose. You couldn't reason with him. Nobody could. But on one of the most contentious and interesting chapters of royal life, Lady Diana's rocky marriage to Prince Charles, there is very little. Revealing letters from Diana to the Queen Mum were destroyed by Princess Margaret. As a historian, obviously, it's a pity because, you know, history loses. But um, as, as a, an ordinary person, I can sympathize with anybody wanting to uh, destroy letters that they thought were hurtful or in, about other members of their family. But the book does contain plenty more on the woman who was as remarkable as she was privileged until her death at 101 in 2002. Now, there are no bombshells, no stunning revelations in this book, but it does provide plenty of fresh detail on what is at once Britain's most public and also most private family. Chris? Okay, CBS's Elizabeth Palmer in London for us this morning. Elizabeth, thank you.